Um, hi. For our product, we chose Pacaco. It's in the northeastern uh, Ecuador. Uh, and the village has around 8,250 inhabitants. Uh, the location is in Amazonas, so the, the climate is tropical, and as you can see, the rain, it's, yeah, there are a great of rainfalls even during the, the, even during the dry month. Yeah, and, uh, is it working? No. <laughs> Okay. Uh, here you can see a typical house in Pacayaco. The house is created by, uh, by concrete walls and the roof is made of steel tiles. And uh, uh, the poverty is a big problem in Pacayaco. As you can see here, the red spot in the northeastern, that is Pacayaco, uh, the poverty intensity is between 16 and 20%. So this is a big problem here, and uh, this will, yeah, to to like break the bubble, hmm? uh, to to break the bubble, it's good to have education system and good schools for all the kids in the middle. So we want to build school here. And yes, the oil problem is also a big problem in the <coughs> uh, The oil problem, the Pagaku is the most affected village in the whole Amazonas. Are most affected village in the whole Amazonas, and this will provide no no access to clean drinking water. Uh, because of the no clean drinking water, it's very important for us to have a good harvesting system. Thank you. Uh, we have chosen this one, a rooftop harvesting system with four layers for filtration layers. The first one is the mesh filter and then we come to the three layer with bystands with sand, quartz and poker. Uh, and uh, to not waste a lot of water we have chosen the dry sanitation system. And here you can see we will have two tanks, one for euro and one for feces. And also they can use this to the soil and maybe to have a composition. No, to have a yeah, composer. Yeah. And they can also use this ventilation system if there are a hot day. And it's very easy, easy building with uh, plastic bottles and a board that will fit the window. And this can, uh, this can provide the room with low walls, with up to 5 degrees cooler. Uh, these are the materials and techniques used in Pacayaco for construction. <coughs> Adobe bricks uh, fabricated manually, bamboo commonly used for the structure and the, and the roof because it's strong, and uh, steel reinforces cinder blocks. Uh, all of our structure will be in wood. Uh, the wood will be extracted from a pine called chuncho and can be found in all Amazon, so it, it's easy to to get it. And um, the floor is also made in uh, wood uh, sheets. For the walls will be a technique called Bahareki, uh, with, which combines uh, vertical wood uh, and horizontal bamboo, which gives the, to the wall a skeleton and it gives support. And then it's uh, packed with wood and clay, as you can see. Uh, these walls, when well constructed and well maintained, uh, they can long, uh, they live long, and they are flexible and elastic, and it's easy to apply this technique. For the roof, will be metal sheets. Uh, the metal will be galvanized zinc, which is resistant to the to the corrosion and to the rust, so we can harvest the water uh, without contamination. Uh, this material uh, is, is easy to obtain in Pacayaco. Pacayaco is quite a small town in the middle of rainforest. You can see on the picture there is a main road which connects Pacayaco to neighborhoods. Uh, we chosen land for our school in the north called Area of Family Houses. It was empty place between 
uh, family houses already connected to the infrastructure and this, this is how it looks like. We use all the land, uh, we placed in our land five, I mean the land is 5,000 square meters big and we placed that for school for uh, hundreds of uh, children, garden, parking place and this is our plan, our, our school. Uh, we, you can see three classrooms, uh, 70 square meters big, two rooms for the teachers, uh, toilets, dining hall with the kitchen, and a big activity room. All the rooms are connected by the sheltered corridor. And this is uh, the water harvesting uh, provides by, provides uh, two water tanks, one is under the roof and supplies the toilets and bathrooms and one uh, is in the middle of our school which provides the clear water to, to our students. And this is the main entrance to our school. You can see the, the school is elevated above the ground to avoid the rotting of the wood and the high fence to 0.5 meters to avoid criminal Mm. Yeah, <laughs> Here is our garden, which uh, you can see we wanted to be independent of outside, so the, school, the area of the school is uh, fully sustainable, you can plant your own food and cook it in the kitchen and then eat it in the dining room. And this is our like heart of the school, it's an elevated terrace which uh, is uses used for uh, connecting people and connecting uh, teachers with students not even in the classrooms but also in the free time and yeah thank you for your